The secret to getting the best results when it comes to whitening teeth is perfectly selecting the right shade of color that we need to deal with. Make sense? Let me show you. Have a look at the teeth. Let me zoom in. What if we could select this exact shade of yellow and deal with it? That would be awesome and that's exactly what we're gonna do. Click on the adjustment layer icon and then choose Hue Saturation. Now inside of Hue Saturation, with the help of the hand tool right over there, let me bring it right here so that you can see what's happening. With the hand tool selected, click on that yellow. We will adjust that later. Now, as you can see, yellow shows up at the top. Sometimes it can be red. Do not worry, we will adjust that. Move the hue all the way to the right and then move the saturation all the way to the right to see which areas are being affected. Now, this is the range that we are affecting right now. So we can make the range narrower and that would be the first step. Make the range as narrow as possible and holding from the middle, we will move the range to the left and right and stop at the point where exactly that area is being affected. I would stop right there because if I go beyond this, as you can see, gums are being affected. We don't want that. We just want the teeth. So I'll stop exactly right there. Now let's make the range a little larger by holding this point so that all of the teeth is selected. Okay, that is fine. All of the yellows in the teeth. Now, as you can see, it's very harsh, the selection. So to make the transition between areas which are targeted and areas which are not targeted, all we have to do is to make this outside slider a little bit to the left and inside slider a little bit to the right. The more the grain between, the more smoother the transition is. So let's play with it. Okay, this is all right. The right side is all right. Let's bring the saturation and the hue back to normal. Now, all we need to do, decrease the saturation and problem solved. If you want to brighten it a little bit, you can also increase the lightness. It was very easy. If you want to add a little bit of red to it, take it to the left, the hue, and it's done. It looks very natural, it's great. But what's happening is, it's also taking away yellow from the skin. So this is the before, this is the after. Teeth is fine, but we don't wanna affect the skin, right? So select the mask, press Control or Command I to invert the mask, turn it black, then take the brush, Make sure the foreground color is white. You can always press X to toggle between the foreground and the background. And you don't have to be accurate about it because the gums are all right. So just paint on it. Accuracy not required here. And you are good to go. Let's have a look at it. Here's the before, here's the after. So easily solved by choosing that exact shade of yellow. So you can also decrease the opacity if you think it's looking unnatural. So somewhere around 75 or 76 is fine for me. Have a look, here's the before, here's the after, easily fixed. So that's the secret. Create a hue saturation adjustment layer with the help of the hand tool, select that particular shade. Using the range, refine your selection and do not forget to first move the hue and the saturation all the way to the right to see which areas are being affected and then bring them back to normal and adjust it accordingly. And at the end, do not forget to reduce the opacity because sometimes, mostly, we tend to go a little overboard. And that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Hope this video helped you and if it did, make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe. Ring the bell so that you, my friend, don't miss any other future tip, trick or tutorial. Thank you for all your support. I will see you guys in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.